Most aircraft carriers have incredible facilities you never expected. The United States aircraft carriers are some of the most powerful weapon systems known to man. They are floating cities that can take strike combat capability to the extreme corners of the world that even other military assets cannot reach. These aircraft carriers are staffed by 6,000 sailors. There are facilities on board to guarantee that these sailors are comfortable and well motivated. What are these facilities? Top Notch Gyms The Ford, the newest aircraft carrier in the United States Navy, boasts one of the most impressive gym structures of any of the ship's facilities. The Ford is home to the best gyms on the waterfront. In contrast to the Nimitz-class flat tops, which had rooms that were later adapted to accommodate gyms complete with machines, weights and sweaty sailors, the Ford-class aircraft carrier is designed from the ground up with a gym in mind from the very beginning. The Ford features three fitness centers that are fully stocked with state-of-the-art apparatus manufactured by big companies. Boxing with equipment such as heavy bags, jump ropes, speed bags and uppercut bags, and cross-functional fitness equipment such as bars, boxes, kettlebells and ropes. The fitness centers are designed to accommodate weightlifting for specific muscle groups, spin and cardio equipment such as bikes, treadmills and ellipticals. The total square footage of the fitness centers will be 3,085 feet, making them larger than the majority of three-bedroom houses. Medical Facilities Toxicological threats abound over the ship and the hazardous operating zones of the carrier increase the chances of sailors getting injured. The various parts of the ship are supplied with power and other services through tens of thousands of miles of cables, wiring and pipes. Massive stocks of various kinds of fuel, ordnance and other combustibles including explosives are always on board. Hence, there is a need for adequate medical facilities in the case of an accident. Apart from that, sailors are humans, which means there are chances of them falling sick. They are well taken care of by various medical personnel using the top-notch facilities present on a carrier. The medical department was situated amidships for the sake of patient accessibility, the stability of surgical procedures, and the protection of the interior from damage caused by combat. The hospital is pretty small and is divided into a receiving pre-op area with room for up to seven beds, and that has a huge elevator door through which injured people are brought from the flight deck, two operating rooms, and an intensive care unit with three beds and a recovery area with 23 beds. In addition, three dental wards are staffed with dentists who provide comprehensive dental care. What happens when a sailor gets seriously injured while on board an aircraft carrier? Patients who have been seriously injured or suffering from diseases or disorders that are difficult to treat are stabilized and swiftly transferred to a medical facility on land. Because there is neither a CT scanner nor catheterization lab on board, Anyone experiencing a stroke must get off the carrier as soon as possible. Most passengers on the ship are young and in generally good health, which means that most of the surgical procedures performed on them resulted from accidents. Laundry Services For surface shipboard laundry, the United States Navy uses washer extractors with capacities ranging from 20 to 200 pounds and tumbler dryers with capacities ranging from 20 to 110 pounds. The equipment that has been installed on aircraft carriers can provide daily laundry services for a manpower capacity of up to 6,000 people. Laundries on board aircraft carriers typically run for 16 to 20 hours per day, six or seven days per week, and handle close to 150,000 pounds of laundry every week during a conventional deployment lasting six months. The laundry operations must stay at 100% capacity to meet the demands of deployment schedules which may require naval ships to remain at sea for extended periods. The crew's morale suffers greatly when efficient laundry service cannot be provided because of equipment downtime. Shipboard and marine tumbler dryers have excellent machine insulation for low heat radiation, along with high CFM airflow and efficient electric and steam heat sources. These features allow the dryers to reduce the amount of heat that is radiated into the surrounding area. The primary shipboard and marine laundries are responsible for processing a wide variety of laundry, including table and bed linens, bath and pool towels, uniforms, and other assorted commodities. Crew Birthing Gone are the huge 180-man berthings common on Nimitz-class carriers. 
Ford class carriers have berthings that can accommodate no more than 40 people. This was done to reduce the noise and other distractions. The smaller berthings are more peaceful and the plan calls for less foot traffic to be moved through the other areas. Racks are often piled three high and each individual has their own individual locker space. The berthings do not include the more contemporary sit-up racks, which provide additional headroom. The bottom and middle racks can only accommodate a sailor lying down. Because the berthings were designed without regard to gender, they do not include urinals. Instead, there are vacuum-powered septic system toilets, toilets with sinks and showers associated with each berthing. This helps to reduce the time spent moving to and from the facilities. Compared to previous naval designs, Past contemporary improvements include USB ports for mobile phone charging and other amazing facilities. Mess Decks It is a requirement for sailors to eat, and the supply department of a competent carrier takes excellent satisfaction in providing healthy and tasty food. Various food can be found on the menus of the ship's mess decks so that every crew member can find something to their liking. What does the mess deck look like? The way the mess deck is structured varies between aircraft carriers. Let's take a look at the U.S.'s newest carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford. Unlike Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, which have a total of five galleys, Ford-class carriers only have two galleys. Standard Operating Procedures, or SOPs, had to be developed by Ford Supply Department and Food Service Division so that they could simultaneously operate both of the conglomerate galleys. This was necessary to feed the crew and provide support for CVW-8. The galleys aboard the Ford are outfitted with cutting-edge appliances and novel serving utensils, all to streamline the process of food preparation and delivery to passengers. Rational combination ovens are installed, allowing a more efficient manner to serve things that are moving quickly. These ovens have menu options that are comparable to the popular Instant Pot menu selection, but they are 1,000 times more powerful. These ovens come with a product menu display that shows a selection of product recognition options that may be used to prepare meals by simply pushing a button corresponding to the item being cooked. In addition, rational combination ovens come with Wi-Fi connectivity and monitoring capabilities that are fully capable of self-cleaning. During the self-cleaning cycle, the oven essentially transforms into a dishwasher and washes and sanitizes itself from top to bottom. Sailors only need to click a button for the oven to begin spraying soapy water, going through a cleaning cycle, rinsing itself out, and turning it off when the process is over. Because of the self-cleaning capability, the cooks do not need to be concerned about using any potential hazardous chemical compounds or sprays to remove cooked-on food from the oven. Instead of scraping baked-on foods, cleaning with steel wool, digging out difficult-to-reach places, or boiling oven racks and kettles, sailors just have to touch a button to get the ovens clean. Because of the one-of-a-kind design, layout, and modern appliances installed in the conglomerate galley, Activities in the galley can now be conducted more effectively, resulting in a reduced demand for staff to support the operation overall. And that will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned, and let us know what you think of this topic in the comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.